Welcome to our cave house in Santorini, and you're watching the Fantastic Four. So this week we are in Santorini and we're staying in this lovely cave house and we're anxious to show you. So let's take a look. These are our front gates and we just go right through this door and we have our own private courtyard. You can see the front door there is beautiful, um, but check this out. Every morning we'll come out here, sit in these chairs and enjoy this view. That is the village of Ia. That is the Aegean Sea. And that is the soon to be sunset. So this is our house right here. You can see the picnic table, uh, which we've enjoyed many meals at, breakfast, lunch, and dinners. And then our front door. And I believe behind our front door, Rhonda is waiting for us. Hello come into our beautiful cave home, which is fashioned after most of the homes here at Santorini, which are all cave homes, mostly. And you'll notice the huge expanse above me, and you'll notice that all of the walls and the floor are all cement or concrete. Um, I'm gonna take you into the bathroom area actually first. So, if you're wondering how one goes to the bathroom in a cave home, I will show you. First of all, to shower, you tuck yourself in the corner of the cave. And notice there are no curtains here. There's nothing except for the cave hole. So you just stand here, you shower, and then you exit. Typical sink, typical toilet, except the rule on Santorini, as well as on all of the Greek islands, is that when you use the toilet, you are not to put any of the toilet paper, or anything else for that matter, into the toilet. Instead, you use the trash can next to it. Furthermore, here in the cave home, if you would like to be the entertainment for the rest of the household, you could just open these lovely shutters and there you have it a direct view into the main living area right from your throne in the bathroom but that's a whole other topic indeed now right behind mitchell is a ladder that takes you up to a loft so i'm going to let him walk you up there so up here is the loft um, as you can see Ethan and i um, are reading up here right now and um, it's a pretty cozy little spot to read in, a nice little nook. Um, there's a window out here with a view of the water, which is really nice. And then there are some coat hooks over there. I'm not really sure why they're up in the loft, why you'd want to hang your coat up here. And there's also a bookshelf over there and another one right over there. And um, there's a bed a lamp, a table, it's a pretty basic little bedroom. Um, it's not made up right now, we mostly just use it to read, but if you wanted to make it up, it would be a nice um, extra bedroom. So yeah, it's a pretty basic little loft, and um, I think we're gonna go back down and show you the kitchen now. small little kitchen but very cozy and functional. The first thing you'll see here in the cave hole, I keep saying cave hole because it makes me happy, is a very tiny little refrigerator with a freezer. 
which is, again, very functional. We keep a lot of our things in here. And then we have another beautiful sort of cave hole area that we have our stove. Um, it's sort of in this little nook. And then underneath, we don't have an oven, but we have a microwave oven, which is in its own separate little cave hole down here. Um, something that we really like and think it would be kind of cool to have in our next home, wherever that might be, is sort of an open concept of, they just, there are no cupboards in here, it's just sort of their dishes are out and open for all to see. And um, I think if you take a look here that you'll see some shutters that look out into the courtyard area where we have the picnic table. And there's another set of shutters out here that give us that fantastic view of the caldera area, which is beautiful. So again, a very tiny little kitchen, but super functional and we've really enjoyed it. So now I'm going to take you back through here. So remember, here's the bathroom, the loft, but I'm going to take you into the main living area now. So again, this is a nice expansive room. We have eaten uh, several meals here at this little table. It's a tiny little table, four chairs, perfect for our family. Um, yeah, if it's uh, nice out, we eat outside, but when it's a little bit chilly, as it is here winter now, um, we've been eating in here. There's this beautiful antique table here where um, we basically just toss all of our junk. It looks nice organized now, but it's not always that, that way. It's kind of like the American island back home, which catches all of our things. So that's been nice. I'm going to show you another little cave hole right here, which is uh, just a nice little bookshelf. Um, so a great functional use of space. And if you come a little farther in, I will take you here, which is a beautiful, nice queen size bed, which is where Mitchell and I have been sleeping. And um, again, you'll notice this is just a really tall, big room. And it's, it, it seems like it would be cold in here because in the, in the evening it gets very chilly. But being a cave home and having these cement concrete walls, the, the temperature stays pretty constant, so it's been very comfortable. Uh, um, oh, one other thing I want to show you is uh, take a look at this uh, sort of original stonework. I just think it's very, very beautiful on the windows as well as the doorway in here. It's, it's really pretty. And this is what takes us into the next room, which is where the girls have been sleeping. There are two single beds in here, which have been quite functional. And what we love about this place is just the unique use of space. So you notice again on this side of the windows, there's a little bookshelf up here. Um, above each of the windows with the shutters, there's bookshelves. And it's just very quaint and lovely. And then we have another little cave hole here, which is a cupboard. Eden's been using it for a few for things, but it's just, uh, just a great use of space and very quaint. And there's a lovely and quite spacious closet here where we've been putting our backpacks and a lot of our clothing and then finally there is another ladder that you see here which takes Mitchell up into another loft area so this loft is not as big as the other one we showed you um, it pretty much has room for this one bed um, a couple pillows and there's a small alcove or as a cave hole as my mom would call it probably um, with just a singular bookshelf and then um, not attached to the loft but sort of um, kind of you can reach it from the loft ladder is just a little um, a just storage space kind of like a little attic space it's not very big there's no shelves in it or anything just some um, extra space so that's pretty much it up here there's really not room for a lot um, it's can work as an extra little bedroom or just as some nice reading space. in Santorini and we hope you enjoyed this tour as much as we have enjoyed staying here. As always, we're so glad that you came to follow our journey. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. 
If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our channel because we have so many more videos coming your way. And of course, we'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. Have a great day. Bye.